Hey gang, Tom Gillis here. Tom Gillis Golf Instruction. So this video today is about the PGA Tour Qualifying School, and I will talk about the other ones, the Champions Tour and the LPGA and the Corn Ferry a little bit, but um, I miss it. I, it was so great. I think they stopped in 2013. Now it's a Corn Ferry Tour Qualifying School. It's not the same. I still watch it, but it's not the same. Those Cinderella stories are gone and all that. So um, I hope you like it, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now. Hey, golf fans, Tom Gillis here. How are you? Thanks for watching. So my question of the day is the new PGA Tour qualifying tournament. Q School, right? We used to call it Q School back in the day. First stage, second stage, third, final stage. 108 holes of craziness, right? People going up and down, you'd watch that. Some guys in, some guys out. Absolute madness, right? Guys, uh, Todd Dempsey, um, he just qualified for the Champions Tour. I'm not sure what year it was, back in the 90s. Three putted from 10 feet to miss his tour card. Gone, you know. Uh, Joe Daly misses a three-footer, goes in the hole, in the hole, and pops up. Amazing. Lost his tour card for that. And then some guys made putts, you know, but nobody cares about that. You want to see the gore and the bad stuff that happens at Q School. That's the thing. You used to tune into the golf channel, right? Who's going to blow it? Who's going to blow it? And then you see the guy shoot a 63 and get in, and they're crying afterwards. There's some great stories. I think Curtis Strange three putted. Uh, no, no, he the last four holes, he bogeyed to miss it by one. Todd Dempsey's the one that three putted. Um, it was just crazy. And you weren't guaranteed a, a, a tour card back then, you know? So it, it was the hardest tour to get on in the, in the world. Hardest sport to keep your, your playing privileges, right? There's no five-year contract. Now there is, but on the PJ Tour, there wasn't. You know, you would have guys journeyman going up and down trying to get in Frank Licklider, right? Trying to qualify every year, going up and down. Fran Quinn Jr. Up and down, Corn Ferry, PGA Tour. But you, you could go to Q School, okay? If you had certain status on the tour, you, you were exempt into the finals. Like top 126 through 175, guaranteed in the finals. If you were past winner, there's multiple ways to get an exemption to the finals. But most guys like myself would have to go through first stage, second stage, third stage. Now there's a pre-qualifying stage because so many people are trying it. These guys are shooting 90, 95, 100, don't know the rules, you know, showing up in weird clothes and, and don't have the right clubs or, or whatever. They just shouldn't belong, but they want to say I went to Q school. It's like three grand. You got to put up three grand and every stage you go, it's another grand, you know. So that's pre-Q, pre-qualifier. So they weed out those guys. Then you go to first stage for guys, club pros, um, you know, mini tour guys. Boom. Then you go to second stage. Some former tour players, former winners that don't get exempt. Now remember, the PGA Tour doesn't guarantee you anything unless you're a winner and a proven star. If you're just another guy, a jag, you got to earn it, man. You, there's guys going like this, up and down and up and down, fighting. Uh, a friend of mine, Brad Adamonis, journeyman his whole life, Monday qualifying still. I think he's turned 50 and he missed a Q school this year, but he don't stop trying, you know. I did stop trying, but I got old and, and, and injured. But it's hard to keep your tour card, hard. And that Q school was awesome to watch. I mean, I, I watched every stage on the phone, on the computer. Who's doing what? Who's where? Oh, my buddy missed it. Mark Brown missed it by one, you know. It's tough. But now they're eliminating that Cinderella story, which I don't think there was a whole lot of Cinderella stories where a guy comes out of nowhere and makes the PGA Tour. More than the Champions Tour, yes, but on the PGA Tour, no. It, it really didn't happen. But there would be a time where a guy that you never heard of would qualify, he'd not make his money, and never be seen from again. And the tour doesn't like that. Even though it's a great story for that week, you know, that one week of Q school, and they can talk about it for a while, it brings some buzz to the tournament. 
that's great. But, but then he's, he's not competing and, and all that. And another thing, you, you'd show up at Q school, you, you'd pass. And now what? Now you need money. It's at least 150 grand to 200 grand to play. You know, this is a few years ago. I don't know what it is now. You know, you got no sponsors, you got no money. And trust me, all these guys aren't making a fortune with money in the, in the bottom of the list with the Titleist hats on. They're not. It's based on performance and how much you're on TV. They literally, literally will time how much you're on television. Tom Gillis was on TV for 30 seconds. All right, that's four grand. He was on for two minutes, that's 10 grand. That's how they do it. You get a base contract, yes, of course. Free equipment, of course. But you're not guaranteed a nickel. Now they're giving you minimum 500 grand right out of the gate. 500 grand right out of the gate. You're guaranteed 500 grand. Not bad. You know, nice safety net. But the Q school is now gone for the PGA Tour, and I don't like it. Now the Corn Ferry Tour, the minor leagues, have its own pre, I mean, has its own Q school. Prequal, first stage, finals. Same thing. That gets you on the Corn Ferry Tour. I think it's top 40 players. And 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 it's just not the same. Nobody, nobody cares because you, you're qualifying for a minor leagues. They're still great players. Don't get me wrong. I love them all. respect them all. But if you're qualifying for the minor leagues. It's just not the same. So the Q school's gone. All the great stories with Curtis Strange. Mike Ware was a um, a medalist one year. Frank Licklider, I think. Kyle Paulson. You know, it was just a great event to watch the, the Q school. And, um, and again, now it's a minor league event. Q school is now for the Corn Ferry Tour. Then the top, if you play well in the Corn Ferry Tour, that's how you get to the PGA Tour. There's still Monday qualifiers, which were great to watch. There's a great guy, Monday Q Info. You should watch him um, on Twitter. He's a great follow to watch all that. Because I love following all that stuff. Now, now the, the, the Champions Tour is the hardest tour to get on. Hardest. And to stay on. Okay. There's 78 guys that play every week. Most of them are past champions, top money winners from before, VJ Singh. Um, well, Paul Lazinger doesn't play anymore. You got your Bernard Langers, guys like that. So someone like me who wants to qualify, they only take five spots. Five. Five. So every year, not as many qualify as you would try to qualify as you would think, but they have like four stages in the first um first round and those guys all go to the final round i think there's 78 or nine players the top five of those get their tour card for the champions tour and you play in this what 30 tournaments you play in all 30 and that's great to keep your tour card on the champions tour you got to finish in the top 36 of those 75 that's not easy I think one guy that this year did it, Tong Chai JD, made it through Q School last year, along with my pal Rob Labritz. Rob missed it. He finished like 41st, made over 500 grand, didn't make the top 36. But being that high ranked at, the, at 41, he didn't need to go back to Q School. So he's guaranteed to get in a bunch of events. So there's no need to go back to Q School. But I think top 45 and back, you're out. You got to go back to Q school. Mark Brown, uh, a couple other guys who I don't think made it through. That's where that Todd Dempsey, who uses Persimmon Woods, Persimmon Woods, Todd Dempsey uses, made it through Q school. I, I think he's using a metal driver because you have to because of the ball. The ball doesn't spin as much. It just won't work with a with a wooden um, wooden wood off off the off the uh, tee. You know so. But uh, he's, he's a throwback player, and I love it. He's playing great. But, yeah, the Champions Tour, they five guys get through. It's, it's brutal. It's a tough gig. And you're not guaranteed anything. That, that list of, tour, of uh, Champions Tour players that just had Q School, look at those names. A lot of proven tour winners there, tour players there. Olin Brown won. He won the U.S. Senior Open, and he doesn't get it, you know? So... Very difficult to qualify for these tours. Champions Tour is definitely the hardest. Again, the PGA Tour one's gone. You have to go through the Corn Ferry Tour to get to there. And then you get the Ladies Tour. It's called the Symmetra Tour. There's two stages. The first one has two sites. The top 120 go to the finals, which is the Q Series. 
and they play eight rounds, two weeks, two tournaments basically, four rounds one week, four rounds the next week, and the top 45 in ties get through to the LPGA Tour. The rest of them play on the, the their minor league is the Epson Tour. They play on that. That's their minor league. Not a bad way to do it because you're weeding out the bad ones, getting the good ones in there. It makes your tour stronger, but it gets rid of the drama. The drama's gone. I love the drama. Miss it, you know? So now it's just, uh, overall, the product's better. Yes, I get it. But the drama's gone. Like the Monday Qs are the best ones now because the Monday qualifiers are like a, um, a, a tournament. You, you look at them now. There's 150 guys at the final event. The one in Florida Ju and uh, in Jupiter there, the Honda Classic, had five sites. It's crazy. That's how many people are trying to play on the tour. It's so difficult. But, and again, they don't have great success, the Monday qualifiers. I think Corey Connor, um, the Canadian, he was the last one to do it. So that's at least something to, to make it fun. But but yeah, so my whole stick about today is the PGA Tour School was so much fun. Watching guys hit it in the water and lose their cards and crying afterwards. And the Champions Tour, Rob LaBritz calling his wife up afterwards crying. He made it. Now, Rob LaBritz was a club pro for 30 years. Great player, you know, and made it. Did well on this on the Champions Tour this year, finishing forty first, made over five hundred grand. He's a good dude. Watch him, you know, and he'll be back there next year. The Q School this year again, five guys. Tom Dempsey was one that made it through, and um, it, it's just great to watch. I just love it. But things are changing. Times times are changing. But the old Q School, which was was started in what sixty three, I think, by a guy named Earl Stewart. Because that's when the PGA and the PGA Tour were one. And they disbanded Jack Nicholas and I think Arnold Palmer, a couple other guys, broke off so they could just go play golf instead of having to work at clubs and all that. So long history. I know, I know I'm know, i rambling again, but that's what I do. Um, but yeah, the PGA Tour Q School is is um, is missed by me anyways. So and, and tell me what you guys think about it in the comments. If you liked it or hated it or care about it or whatever. And uh, just give me some feedback. Let me know what's happening and going on. And uh, I will talk to you all down the road. Thanks for watching.